Hi guys, this is the review for the brand new F3S all-in-one flight controller. Um, it's available at Airbot and you find the link in the description. This brand new F3 flight controller comes with an integrated PDB and 2 ampere BC, also with a voltage sensor with a current sensor and an integrated OSD um, compatible to minimum OSD. Uh, it has um, connections for SPAS receivers, PPM receivers, DSM2 receivers, DM DSMX receivers and you can connect up to 8 motors on this so um, you can fly an octocopter with this also has an inbuilt black box storage so you can save um, your flight data up to 16 megabytes and in this pro version it's an integrated barrel and also a compass you get this um, flight controller also as acro version. So um, perhaps you know the the um, F1 version of um, this flight controller. Um, it's absolutely improved. All the layout is completely new, also with the F3 chipset. And um, what I really like and love is the new smart button here to um, switch between um, USB to flight controller and USB to um, OSD. Um, you had just connect the, the USB to the flight controller and press this button for about one second. Now it's connected to the OSD and when I press again um, it's already connected to the flight controller. When I remove the um, USB, the flight controller is automatically connected to the OSD. So, um, now I want to show you some um, um, specs from the copter. And what I really explain here, it's a standard um, flight controller size so 35 to 35 millimeters and and the uh, mount holes are 30.5 to 30.5 millimeters so absolute standard you can use it on any race copter any standard copter uh, design you want um, the F3 uh, chip on this flight controller supports clean flight beta flight and also the new iNav firmware um, that is um, an improved version of, of clean flight and beta flight for um, navigation so there's already a re return to home or um, um, position hold modus integrated so perfect for the pro version of this flight controller um, we have here the simple um, PDB um, so you can um, solder all uh, minus and plus to the um, flight controller and this is um, good for um, um, up to I think 80 amp uh, current um, so you can really uh, use high uh, rated components and um, you can also connect this um, plus minus to another uh, PDB so um, the integrated PDB is used for the current sensor and um, you can just connect one wire and this to your normal PDB um, to use the current sensor on this PDB. Um, okay, we have the 5 volt 2 ampere um, BC, so it's absolutely perfect 5 volt, so no problems with your components here. Um, integrated voltage sensor this is uh, needed for clean flight and also for the OSD and the current sensor shows you also um, the, the, the current draw of your components uh, in your OSD 
and this OSD is compatible uh, with minimum OSD so you can choose any firmware for the OSD you want um, like it's um, um, so long it's uh, compatible for the um, MB OSD um, link for the firmware is also in the description so um, receiver inputs PPM SBUS DSM2 DSMX on serial or um, normal PPM connection no uh, PMW connection anymore so the old standard is isn't used anymore here because of the uh, tiny space um, up to eight uh, motor outs um, we have um, four solar pads and um, um, for motor one to four or an JSTSH connector for motors one to eight um, black box storage for flight data and uh, also a gyro accelerator uh, MPU 6050 uh, so the absolute standard um, chip here so and for the connection um, of the PDB you see here it's um, just uh, on one side uh, the ground connections um, for LiPo and also the, the uh, EC uh, ground connection on the other side we have a um, LiPo in this is the single solder point in the LiPo uh, or a uh, plus out for um, ECs on the other side um, this is for all the ECs here um, you see in the picture also um, the four solar points uh, that you can use if you have only a quadrocopter or you can use on the other side um, the motor 1 to 8 output um, for up to 8 motors in, um, in a connector here So, to connect an OSD, um, you use the um, pin connectors here um, to your VTX and your camera. On the left side, you have a connection to the camera. On the right side is the connection to the VTX. And the camera is um, um, powered up by the VTX. So, no power connection on the flight controller to the camera. Um, so this is perfect if you have a VTX that so give you a nice 5 volt um, um, voltage then you can use it here on your camera uh, or something else. The VTX is um, connected to the PDB so you get the voltage um, from plus minus on the PDB. Um, you can use optional an LC filter but um, I think in my build I had no issues with um, uh, disturbing pictures here so um, you can use it or not it's um, like uh, how do you use it on your setup um, so I have explained before the new uh, smart button here on the on the side um, it's connected to the um, OSD and the flight controller and the USB so normal when you have no OSB connection here um, the flight controller is connected to the OSD automatically um, when you press um, when you connect your USB cable here uh, and press the um, button for longer than one second um, the USB connection goes to the OSD and if you press another time um, then it's again connected to the flight controller so um, you don't need any um, tip switches here or, or something else you don't need to reconnect your USB cable just press the button for one second and you connect it to the other part so um, the PPM connection is on the left side here um, is the first three pins on this uh, JST uh, connector uh, you can use normal um, D4R uh, FreeSky uh, receiver for example and you need um, in the receiver mode uh, tap in your clean flight set the RX PPM as receiver setup if you want to um, use an SBUS connection 
you need an um, SBUS compatible um, receiver. You use the URT free connection on the flight controller. It's the thing on the left side. You just need the 5 volt ground and RX input. Um, the TX input that's here light gray isn't used for this connection. So um, on this URT free you must um, set in the configuration tab on your clean flight um, the port to enable RX serial and in the receiver mode um, tab you must set it also to RX serial and now you can use an uh, SBUS receiver. If you have an spectrum receiver or any other DSM2 receiver you use perhaps the same connection like the SBUS connection or if your receiver needs a 3.3 volt um, you need um, the other port that give you a nice 3.3 volt output here. The flight controller supports also um, RGB LED um, that you can configure in your clean flight or better flight um, for any color, any color sh uh, automatically uh, sheen like uh, um, um, color um, movement and so on. So um, just connect it here to the ground plus 5 volt and the RGB DIN in. Um, this is also um, signed here on your RGB LED. So F3S has also a um, BASA connection. Um, this is a solar pad available on the left side. Um, just use normal um, buzzer here uh, with um, ground and plus 5 volt. If you want to use um, GPS, you can use the URT2. Um, there you must, uh, in the configuration tab, the uh, GPS port enabled and also enable GPS in the uh, configuration um, for um, UPLOX protocol um, it's mostly used and you can just use any GPS that is compatible for NACE32. Now I want to show you how to upload um, the OSD firmware um, for the flight controller and there you must uh, just press the button longer for one second now the USB is connected to the OST chip and in your PC you downloaded the MVOSD firmware there you go to the MVOSD you need Arduino software um, then you have here the config h tab there you must uh, check that you have um, define your um, firmware of your um, flight controller like uh, beta flight and also that you want to use um, automatically cell count and voltage warning here um, just check this and check also that you use here MSP speed high this is for faster uh, flight controllers you have no problems here if you use it with the um, actual one so when you have um, read all the stuff here and uh, make your setup just go to the tools, set your processor here, it's an 80 mega 328 5 volt 16 megahertz one and also the COM port um, that you connected here to USB and then you just need to go to upload and um, perhaps you got a memory warning but you can ignore this. After this you can go to the OSD graphical user interface I choose always here on application Windows 32 the MV OSD GUI and there you can connect to your COM port 3 just press here and now you can see I had already an um, setup here 
But the first step you have always to do is um, upload a new form. Um, you choose choose one here. I always use the default one. It's better to see here, and then you can upload this to the OSD chip. After you have finished the upload of the, your uh, form, um, you can make your setup. So you want to have perhaps um, the voltage and there you can use the FC main voltage. You get the voltage directly from the um, firmware and there you can also use the amps, the milliampere and uh, here we use also the flight controller amperage. So this is this on the right side here. Um, I always use Paul signal here for my cameras and V2X and the metric system. I'm from Germany. Um, um, interesting for me is also the throttle position. So I see how much throttle I give here and the timer for the fly time. You can add an cause sign here. You can always uh, also um, add here um, GPS information, compass information, barrel information, all the stuff. So when you have done, go to Write Settings and you have finished to set up your flight controller OSD. Now um, we switch back to the USB flight controller connection. Just press for one second and I go to the clean flight configurator there I can just start with upload firmware and there you can choose just SP Racing F3 firmware and choose manual baut rate 115,200 then you can flash firmware online or you can choose a local firmware and there you can choose, for example, beta flight, and here also the SP Racing F3. Um, when you have loaded it, just go to the flash firmware button and um, wait a minute, and you have done. Then you can connect to the flight controller itself, and you see here the first step is calibrate the actuator, um, calibrate the magnetometer, and so on. Um, here you see now the um, ports and had here no um, serial connection at the moment and also no GPS connection. So I choose at the moment here just PPM as receiver, um, but you, if you want to use SBUS you must choose here Eric Serial and here SBUS or something else like Spectrum, whatever you use. On the right side, you see the battery voltage. It's VBAT. Um, here the sensor. This is in standard absolutely okay. And here is the current sensor. Here you must use um, 380 as um, value. Um, then it's more exact like the standard 400. So just connect it here. And also, if you want to use LED, just switch here or if you want to use the black box just click here and that's all so um, now you can set up your receiver I use Rita 1234 mode um, for um, my sticks and also can you set up your modes like Barrow, Mac and so on um, one interesting thing here is the LED strip. They can set up the, the colors of your of your LEDs. So I for example use here eight LEDs and then I choose here the warnings and also the arm state and then I finish with save. Now I've finished my setup and I can start to fly this fantastic um, copter here. You 
thank you for watching my review for this flight controller and I will bring you some more footage of uh, flights with this flight controller but uh, this is all at the moment. You can buy this flight controller at uh, direct at airbot.com and when you live in um, European it's automatically sent from UK or from Germany um, to you so you will not get any problems with customs. Hope you have fun and uh, I hope you liked the video then give me give me a feedback or a like or something else. Okay, bye bye.